What is aluminum anodizing? Aluminum anodizing is an electrochemical process used to create a thicker layer of aluminum oxide on the surface of aluminum and its alloys. This oxide layer significantly enhances the performance of the aluminum material. The core process of aluminum anodizing. 1. Preparation. Clean the aluminum parts thoroughly to remove oil and impurities. A clean surface is essential for forming a uniform oxide layer. 2. Etching slash chemical polishing. After cleaning, immerse the aluminum parts in an etching slash chemical polishing solution to remove the naturally formed thin oxide layer and tiny impurities on the surface for further treatment subsequently. 3. Anodizing. The aluminum parts act as the anode and are immersed in an acidic electrolyte, usually sulfuric acid. After electrification, there is a controlled oxidation reaction the aluminum surface, generating a porous layer of aluminum oxide, generally with the thickness of 5 to 70 micrometers. The thickness is controlled by the current density and processing time. There will be bubbles near the anodizing aluminum parts during the process. 4. Dyeing. The porous structure of the oxide layer can absorb dyes. By soaking in dye solutions or using electrolytic coloring processes, aluminum parts can be colored in various hues. The thickness of the oxide layer also affects the interference colors, such as silver white, gold, and gray. 5. Sealing. This is a crucial final step. The dyed or undyed anodized parts are immersed in deionized water or a specific solution. This step causes the oxide layer to hydrate and expand, closing the surface pores. Sealing greatly enhances the corrosion resistance, wear resistance, and color retention of the oxide layer. Types of anodizing. Depending on the thickness of the oxide layer and the desired performance, there are two main types of aluminum anodizing. Type 2 anodizing, typically performed in a sulfuric acid electrolyte at room temperature. It is mainly used to provide good corrosion resistance, decorative appearance, and some wear resistance. It is commonly found in consumer electronics casings, architectural aluminum profiles, and household items. Type 3 anodizing, performed in a low-temperature sulfuric acid or mixed acid electrolyte. The oxide layer produced is very thick and dense. The purpose is to achieve extremely high surface hardness and superior wear resistance, much higher than type 2 oxide layers, while maintaining excellent corrosion resistance and electrical insulation. It is often used in industrial components that experience high wear, such as pistons, gears, and aerospace parts. Main advantages of anodized layers. Enhanced corrosion resistance, effectively protects the aluminum base from environmental corrosion. Increased surface hardness and wear resistance, aluminum oxide is much harder than aluminum itself. Electrical insulation, the oxide layer is non-conductive. Improved appearance and coloring capability can be dyed in various colors or retain a metallic finish, with lasting appearance. Key for consistent color. To ensure consistent color in batch production, the following aspects must be strictly controlled. Consistent dye. Use the same type, concentration, and quality of dye in all batches. Stable process parameter. The composition, concentration, and temperature of the electrolyte must remain consistent. Same anodizing current density and processing time. These must be the same for all parts. Time affects the thickness of the oxide layer, which in turn affects the color. Uniform sealing process. The sealing solution, temperature, and time must be consistent for all parts to ensure stable final color and performance. How to remove the anodized layer if the color does not match expectations despite strict control of the above factors. Remove the anodized layer on aluminum. If there is a need to remove the anodized layer, here are the main ways. Chemical stripping, use strong acids or strong alkali solutions to dissolve the oxide layer. This process should be carried out in a professional environment with proper protective measures to avoid damaging the aluminum base. Electrochemical stripping, remove the oxide layer by reversing the current in a specific electrolyte. Note, both anodizing and removing anodized layers on aluminum typically involve hazardous chemicals or processes. It is strongly recommended to perform these operations by professional manufacturers to ensure safety and effectiveness. About Zintolin. Zintolin offers a one-stop manufacturing solution from prototyping to mass production, including CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, surface finishing, packaging, and logistics services. We help turn your ideas into reality. Visit Zintilon.com to explore more surface treatment services.